Have you ever wanted someone to like you? It's thrilling, isn't it? And scary. And did you ever get lucky enough to find out that the person you like likes you too? There is no way to contain your happiness when this happens. A smile simply cannot be wiped from your face. Unless, of course, they withdraw their love. In which case, your happiness evaporates immediately and you feel empty and forlorn. Quite the opposite of happiness, I must say. So what is happiness? There are many ways to use the word, but basically happiness is the feeling that happens when you get what you want. If you want someone's love and you get it, you feel happy. If you want a position at work and you get it, you feel happy. If you want a new car and you get it, you feel happy. But there's a problem with happiness. It depends on outside things. It's dependent on things that we can't always control. Another person's heart, our boss's opinion, the amount of money in our bank account. This makes our happiness unstable and makes our life a football of situations and circumstances. What we need is a more stable basis for our life. Peace is a much more stable basis. What is peace? Peace is the feeling that happens when we are content with the way things are. Peace is content if someone loves us and even if that person pulls away. Peace is okay if we get the position at work that we were hoping for or if we don't get it. Peace is grateful no matter what car we happen to be driving at the time. Peace does not depend on outside things. It does not depend on us getting what we want. It is a, it is a quieter emotion than happiness. And peace is available to us regardless of our situations and circumstances. Peace is what the work of Byron Katie is all about. The work of Byron Katie is not about getting happiness. It is about finding peace. Can you be content even when your income drops to zero? Can you find peace even in divorce? Can you find the advantages of someone yelling at you? If not, the work is here for you. Step by step, the work takes you from a state of anger and complaining or sadness to a place of peace about the way things are. But only if you're open to it. No one can give you peace but you. Here's a common mistake when doing the work. It's sometimes tempting to do the work to fix yourself. And when you do, you miss it completely. If you want to fix yourself, you have already set up conditions. If I'm successful at fixing myself, then I'll be happy. If not, then I don't like the work. I won't be happy. In using the work in this way, you are not actually looking for peace, but you're looking for happiness. Happiness based on if the work is able to fix what you want um, and what you think is broken about you. This is conditional and a setup for disappointment. Try doing the work just for the love of peace. Or another way to say it is do the work for the love of truth. Look at, look at it as an experiment, a chance to test your theories, an opportunity to challenge yourself and see if you can find the good side of a bad situation or find the balance that it's good and bad, but it's not all bad. When you do, you'll find peace. And where there is peace, the seeds of happiness also find fertile ground. The next time you do the work, check your motives. Are you doing the work to fix yourself? I want an emotion, like an emotional pain to go away. Then only I'll be happy. Or are you doing the work to make peace with the world the way it is, including your internal world and your own emotions? It's a subtle difference, but the results are as different as night and day.